We got Enotria, the last song. First 15 minutes, or I'm sorry, just 15 minutes of gameplay. Let's see it. Let's see how it is. I think we've seen some uh, some gameplay of this. Song is a Souls like set in a beautiful Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have by Italian folklore where the yeah, sun we've seen casts some of the this. darkest shadow. It will take you on an awe-inspiring theatrical adventure through multiple regions from the picturesque city of Quinta. That is true, Lordy. The soaked shores of Falesia Magna and the mysterious passageways of the Venetian-inspired Lutumia, and more. Inotria comes from the name of an ancient region of southern Italy, which included the southeastern fringes of Campania, Basilicata, and Calabria, inhabited by the Inotrians. According to a common belief, Inotria Want to see the new... The All you gotta do is post it in the Discord, and you know I react to it. What do you mean? The yes, I did. Arte, an early form of I will be playing a lot of them. Lords of the Fallen is one of the new games, yeah. Every painting, weapon, outfit. This game is Anotria. Real world equivalent. Anotria, the last song. It's another Souls like I gotta play. It is more than sunshine and picturesque landscapes that separates Anotria from other games in the genre. We have made great strides in creating a highly flexible. Yeah, that's his job, Dan. <laughs> Our innovative loadouts, combined with a deep RPG system, making experimentation easier than ever before, alongside greater systemic world interactions. Look at that. That is areas. a cool move. The world has been gripped by the Canavaccio. You, maskless one, are the only one without a given role. And Those the phones kind of mid? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I've heard too. The I don't care. And free the world from no, it's not, pizza. Harnessing the power of Ardore. But as Ardore, you might ask, it is change manifest, the power to alter reality itself. It was first discovered by Pulcinella, who legend says wrote a song about a fictional bird that grew to such renown. It has been in development for a while. We watched two trailers on this already. You how to recognize the spots where the but look at the look at the helmet, right? As well as how you got like three faces of your enemies. How you wield it is up to you. That's kind of weird. Your debuffs go in the middle of the screen. Kind of you seen that? Brought about an age of stagnation. The world and all within it are stuck perpetually playing out their assigned <laughs> roles in a script that grows ever more <laughs> twisted. A world that was one lavish and beautiful now finds itself decaying inexorably, hence the term wasted beauty. Blacksmiths pummel anvils into the earth as farmers till soil long since dead. Not even death is an escape from this cruelest of fates. On your adventures, you encounter a wide array of colorful characters, from the humble to the divine. Pochinella, your creator and mentor, will join you at every step to rescue the world. Together, you will face both fresh tales I bet you he's the enemy in the end. Arte, such as Capitan Spaventa, Pantalone, Palanzone, and more, as well as old gods fallen from grace, forsaken foes, or aspiring allies. Only time will tell. Yeah, there's gonna be so many. This is gonna be like Elden Ring level stuff, and I'm gonna sit here and be bad as hell. And flamboyant characters, however. It is first and foremost a gameplay-driven title. We put great effort into ensuring the title hits the mark. On oh yeah! Look at that genre. combat. This begins with nice. Bites, where we've put tremendous care there to ensure go. they all have satisfying and varied move sets. I Mighty like that. Mighty come in every flavor of carnage. With over 120 weapons across uh, over eight 120 weapon weapons. classes and countless unique and creative appearances. We strongly believe fun is at the heart of a good game. Hell That's yeah. we've chosen to focus on a push-forward combat approach with fast and responsive dodge rolls and quick steps. Nice. There are no giant shields to cower behind. Instead, you were emboldened with our chainable parry system alongside multiple modifiers. So it's like Sekiro. One is the passive waiting for long the enemy parry system. to be over. Sekiro. The only limit is your skill and creativity. Very cool. Combat system looks dope, man. Who can masterfully chain together actions? We've created the unraveling system. It is a special status that can be built up by Sweet, thanks, Kirito. We'll watch it after this. Field will bring them to their knees. Once an enemy has been unraveled, a powerful repost attack can be executed. Nice. Doing so grants you the awakened state, a powerful temporary buff that can be modified by your gear and emboldens you to jump straight into the next fight. Look at Being this. A solid base, Woo. however. We've introduced I a plethora like of new RPG mechanics that we believe will dramatically change how players approach encounters. Looks the wonderful too. The world looks really good. Build experimentation more fun, accessible, and convenient. As hardcore players, we know that it can be one of the most rewarding experiences. However, it is sadly usually burdened by respec, unreliability, and is such done using guides on repeat playthroughs yeah, only true. by the hardcore. In an Autria, you don't have to wait to have fun. With our systems, you can have your safe build, 
right alongside your experimental one. You can have two builds. Genre. Nice. Loadouts are full builds. Two different builds. Masks, uh, weapons, bolts, perks, builds aspects, at gems, the same time. Items and lines, all no other game screen. has done that. That's very nice. Games are our proudest achievement. Opening up theory crafting of builds to everyone, rather than only to the hardcore. The single screen and foolproof design means that anyone can conceptualize and come up with their own builds quickly and easily. Masks are powerful items dropped by enemies in an Autry. There are over 30 masks that have their own combat effects and perk slots, changing cool. not only how you play, but how you look, with nice. aesthetic as well as narrative implications. Lines are our answer to spell casting. We wanted to avoid playstyles that focus on passively slinging magic from afar yeah. while retaining the power of fantasy. Like Pyromancer. You can't do Pyromancer can builds. To four lines, mighty magical abilities that are charged by So you can be up on them and still the use it. foundation for your character's growth and experimentation are the statistics that you can raise. While many of them are familiar, such as health, stamina, or damage, there are some what? new approaches taken in Luck. Industry. First, damage is governed by separate stackable stats. Beast, One's affecting Bato, damage, or door Gratia, damage, as well as Milano. Second, statistics are grouped in bundles that we call virtues. This way, virtues. each virtue can raise your survivability, meaning the players no longer have to choose between safe statistics such as health and stamina and fun ones such as elemental damage or luck. Nice. Simply choose the virtue that embodies your place now best bosses. and unleash Boss your so creativity. Dope. Aspects are another key feature and item in an Altria. They allow you to channel the essence of particular foes. In practical terms, each loadout can have an aspect assigned, which can dramatically alter your statistics. This means that regardless of your stat distribution, through aspects you can experiment with new equipment, say a sword that you otherwise couldn't equip, and enables even greater diversity and specialization with loadouts. Very cool. Gems are items that govern our parry ability. As we want to encourage a push forward style of combat, we have made sure that the parry is responsive, chainable, and potent. However, we are aware that parrying is not everyone's preferred playstyle. Yeah. That's why gems exist, allowing you to make the parry easier or harder and to change what it's best at in each loadout. Want a less potent but easier parry? Go ahead. Want to parry spells rather than physical blows? We have it covered. This system is another way oh. that we are enabling players to choose their own comfort level and preference and experiment without the burden of a respec. Our Path of Innovator system, less of a skill tree. It went all out on this, pool, man. Allows you to unlock new perks that can be slotted into masks to mix and match as you please. Never again. I didn't say anything about the NBA. Points, what are you guys talking about? Know when an older perk might become relevant again. Our Compendium system, which contains all the lore of characters, enemies, and the world as a whole, ties into this. Solve puzzles, uncover secrets, complete quests, and defeat enemies to unlock new lore entries and gain inspiration, the currency used in the Path of Innovators. Complete no, I didn't. sets of entries will give additional rewards that might surprise you. Further rewarding exploration. We've now described what loadouts are and all the things you can do. You could switch loadouts? However, where the system really shines is the ability for up to three loadouts to be swapped between three loadouts. Moment. And you could just this switch. This allows you to wield multiple masks using what? the best build for each situation and to become a veritable Swiss army knife of experimentation. That's very cool. Each player, of course, is only as great as his equipment. In an Autry, you can upgrade weapons, masks, and lines. We made sure to be generous to offer a refund for a cost to encourage experimentation in the earlier parts, but expect commitment. Dude, these guys thought, thought of everything. It's absolute limit. Throughout an Autry of the Last Song, I just don't forms. know anything about it. Beyond jumping, you also have access to the powers of Ardor, using them to alter weakened parts of the world. Our main example of this is Rifts, special portals that you can oh, open yeah. to completely transform an area, reverting it by leaving Very its boundary. Cool. This enables more creative traversal, as well as a variety of puzzles and secrets. Mini Rifts, on the other hand, are the little brothers of Rifts. They're more localized and close on their own after a set duration, offering a more bite-sized traversal puzzle experience. Not every rift is made the same, however. Combat rifts hide challenging foes behind their ominous portals. Once opened, you cannot leave them until the enemies have fallen, or you have. Elements and status effects are another area where we've tried to add our own unique flair to the genre staples. Ooh, Each ooh, element in Autria is designed to both buff and debuff Yellow. you at the same Yellow. time, enabling an entire playstyle around creatively utilizing them to your advantage. This, nice. or wine, 
is a special status that increases stamina regeneration and damage dealt while reducing defenses. While innocuous on its own, it can be a powerful boon or a terrifying bane. Fatal is the essence of undeath. This cursed spectral connection increases elemental damage significantly, but it also allows anyone to heal from damage dealt. An unreliable ally to mages nice. or a powerful curse for enemy warriors. Wow. It's up to you. Grazia is the holy healing power that comes from mysterious crystals. Grazia heals over time, however, any damage causes it to violently explode. For the swift, it is a free heal. For the reckless, it is an explosive end to their adventure. Malano is a horrific plague developed deep within the bowels of Lutumia. It deals damage over time, however, its real danger is that it rapidly spreads to nearby entities. Should one acquire resistance to it, they could become a plague bearer of legend or lose control of it. That's crazy. Anotria boasts a large array of enemies designed to creatively challenge you and maintain variety. A uh, crab? What are we playing? Another crab's treasure? Them from the oh my god, please no. Are based on real world Not myths, again. legends, and outfits from Italian history. For the history buffs among you, expect some familiar masks. Players should always keep a lookout, as many enemies have variants. These visually distinct, altered foes are often much stronger, can possess brand new moves and abilities. In total, expect to face over a hundred different enemies. Hundred different there enemies. There's also a wide array of bosses, large and small, in an Autry. From the mighty actors and their theatrical bravado, to the many elites and That's mini bosses cool. that lurk within optional paths and secret uh -oh. chambers. So we gotta beat every boss, just like every other game, right? Every well, boss? Autry is a gameplay-centered title, we have oh, there's quests. significant effort in ensuring we have an exciting and nuanced story that each player can engage with at their own pace. Ooh. The main story of the game has been designed to be more straightforward, ensuring those that want to focus on it can march onwards to the final fight without frustration. Really? Straightforward does not mean basic, however. You uh. will meet many colorful characters, and Puccinella himself is a systemic and reactive NPC who will often have a word or two of encouragement or mockery, depending on your actions. Should you wish to I think it, yeah it is color. Yaksha I think it's like uh, I think it's like along with four old gods that you can Dark find Souls. and recruit to the game's hub each god provides their own storyline and related quests complete all of the optional quests in Anotria and perhaps you'll find that things are not as simple as you might have thought the main story alongside the optional like you can go wherever you want to go endings, does that make based sense on the player's choices and the content they have found and completed I think so. The music. Oh. The soundtrack takes We're gonna a get a whole Italy's show. Musical heritage. We wanted to highlight the variety of instruments and singing ranging from rural villages to ancient city theaters. Working closely with talented musicians, our aim was to infuse the soundtrack with elements from the long-standing tradition of frenetic dances, often tied to thaumaturgical and mystical elements, or depictions of blade fights. The wow, they really went all in all on this, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Frenzy and to drive the tension of the battles. I am honestly surprised. They put a lot of work into this. In Autria, the last song will be released on the 19th of September on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. There you go. And Epic Games September 19th, guys. Games pre order is now open. In Autria. You can choose the version that best suits you, be it standard or deluxe. Okay. DLC comes with the deluxe Northern edition. Also comes with its own set of incentives that you can check out. At 72 our hours early access. Stores. In Autria is also targeting a rewarding game. 40 hours of over game 40 play. hours of playtime. So it's going to be just like story path. Elden Ring. We're also very proud to announce our demo. Ooh. That will be available have a demo? on the 22nd of May to the 30th of July on PS5 and PC via Steam. And well, you know what I'm doing. 22nd, they said. All right, at an event. An Epic Game Store. We're also aware that typically demos are not comprehensive and representative of the final product, so we decided to give more space to our uniqueness and intentions with the content of the game. This is why the demo contains 27 enemies. Holy variants, crap. Two mini bosses, one boss, 22 weapons, three gauntlet gems, six masks, 32 perks, seven aspects, over 28 consumables. They're giving us half of the game, bro. 
as well as 18 lines. Unlike other demos, we wanted to give a deeper experience to our players. Processor. I got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. I don't got that. <laughs> we'll get it. So we hope you appreciate our demo's longevity, which currently stands at about eight hours of gameplay to fully complete. Eight hours of gameplay for a demo, bro. Holy crap, these dudes are really going all out. I'm telling you, these dudes, they, they honestly, they think they're, they're them, you know what I mean? They got a lot of faith in this game, especially to give you that much of a demo. That's crazy. And Natre, the last song, that was official 15 minute gameplay overview. Looked very good.